Welcome back, everybody. Driver53 here with another episode here of Eureka Farms. And y'all, we are trying to end our evening here. I mean, it's only 4 o'clock. But we're going to do um, a couple transport missions. I know I talked about doing it before. And I'm kind of waiting on everything to get done here with the, uh, you know, the fields. We got everything planted, just waiting on it to come in. Picked up a nice little TLX 9048 foot enclosed trailer here. We got the hard sides on it. Got the awesome Nebraska stripes going on. We've got the lift gate on the back. And I've got a piece of equipment on the inside. Um, it's not the one that I wanted, but it's the one that I need right now. Um, and we're taking it down here to another place. All of this combo. I'm going to drop it off and maybe do another contract. Um, we've got field one that needs harvested. I know for a fact. I think field six over here needs harvested too. And that wouldn't be a bad one. And um, I think I I might have a way that we can get some straw. Um, I had a subscriber maybe. Uh, at least a comment on how I can pick up some of the straw from a contract. We might give it a go. Um, and I gotta figure out if I have a contract that has straw on it. So, I'm trying to figure out exactly which one of these down here we need this. And it's gonna be this one. Alright, so we're gonna turn in here. Oh man. I don't know if you guys saw that. I got a little bit on my side. So we are going to bring this over here and drop it inside this square. But to do that, let's go ahead and turn it off. Now, the cool thing about this trailer is I can select my L1 and I go up on the joystick nope down on the joystick nope that's not it oh I gotta enable the platform sorry I gotta do that first I actually have to open it up and then I want to bring it hold on there we go I want to bring it up now alright so now I need to go get inside And get that bad boy. And let's hope that we can get our pallet. I don't know if we're going to be able to. It kind of took a little bit of a tumble. Let's see. Huh. But we might just have to do this the hard way. All right, I think we got it. Um, we're gonna go ahead, run back up here to the truck, drop this gate down really quickly. Yeah, right there. All right, we're gonna run back over here. This is um, a lot more cumbersome than I thought it was gonna be. I hope this comes out. Yes, it did, perfect. All right, so now we're just gonna push this over here and call it call it done. I don't think it has to be right side up. Do you guys? Oh come on, work with me. I mean, I like this trailer. I just don't think I loaded it up the right way, and somehow, I don't know how. Um, the pallet got off the forks and like upside down. It was like that before I even started the, the transport, so. Honestly, no idea how it happened. But, we got that done. Let's go ahead and uh, collect here. We're gonna do that, perfect. So, we know that field six needs harvested, and that is barley. I wanna get some of that straw. Let's go ahead and accept that contract really quick, but I want to borrow, do I wanna borrow? I want to borrow. 
Yeah, I do. I want to borrow equipment, and I'll show you why. All right, there we go. Perfect. All right, so hit OK. All right, so we're going to take this back over to the farm, and I will see you guys when we are set up for contract. How about that? The harvesting one. All right, everybody. I'm going to go ahead and take this auger master right here. We're going to repair it. We're going to sell it off. We're going to get 77000 for it. Boom. There we go. Now, you may be asking, why in the world are you doing that? Well, y'all, I found a really, really awesome auger wagon in the catalog that I want to get. And we can get it in red. It's pretty cool. So we're going to go to augers here. And it's going to be this boy right here, the Avalanche 2596. Now, we have other Avalanches. I don't know if I can find them. I may not have them in this catalog, but they're in another one. But this is what we're going to get. It's the Avalanche 2596. It's going to haul anything we want. And it holds over 88,000 liters. Absolutely monster. But it requires 500 horsepower to pull this thing. So it requires one of my big Steigers. We are going to get it right here case we're gonna get it with a scale if you see right here on the edge it's gonna tell me exactly how much is in it whenever I'm not if I'm standing on the side I'm gonna be able to do it now the only problem is it's 200,000 but it's awesome I think we're gonna lease it we're just gonna lease it for a little while I'm not actually gonna buy it so let's take this bad boy go over here pick it up get it over in the field now it's starting to get a little bit dark um, I've got one worker. He's already going to town on this side over here for me. Um, I put him in the big capacity tractor or the big capacity harvester. So he is going to be doing that. I'm not having to stop because it's 500,000 liters. And we are going to go on the other side. Come on now. There we go. Let me get farther away. We're going to go on the other side and work with the smaller capacity harvester and put. Oh, and uh, with the, the fast header um, and start filling up this bad boy right here. So that's what we're going to be doing. I might go into the night a little bit, but if not, we're going to stop, come back out in the morning. Why is that guy full already? He's not. Okay, it just looked like that arm was sticking out. But it's not. He's going to town. He's doing great. Awesome job. So, this auger wagon is going to be absolutely great for going here in the fields. Um, I don't really want to use the truck out in the fields anymore. It's getting a little bit wet. And we're going to start digging in. Storyline mode. So, this is what we're going to do. We're going to collect everything with this. Plus, I wanted to use it. It's an awesome new mod. Who doesn't like new mods? I mean, look at this. It's like Nessie coming up out of the river lake thing. Man, that thing is a beast. It looks so cool. Ooh, destroying a little bit there. That looks so cool. I mean, I just can't believe that this thing is 88,000 liters strong. So, we are going to go ahead, like I said get to going on harvesting here this field and when we are done we might come over here to field number one and take over on it because we fertilized that one there's a lot of good stuff over there but we gotta get this one done first I know we got a lot of contracts that we're doing right now everybody but bear with me we are gonna go ahead and get to our stuff soon we gotta make enough money to be able to buy one of these other fields I really think I want to buy this field right here, number six. Um, it's a really, really good size. Uh, I also found out something kind of depressing about precision farming. 
Um, it's not working very well with soybeans, sugar beets, or potatoes, apparently. So, I don't know how much more I'm going to use it. Because I'm only going to get 65% yield on those crops. And here on Eureka, I want a lot more than that. I want to get full, you know, I'm expecting 125% on my soybeans. So, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. We might um, decide to just kick it in the can and not worry about it. Um, okay, so I'm good to go. I'm going to be putting down straw swath. That's exactly what I want. All right, let's see how far down here we can get with uh, without filling it up. I mean, this is barley, so it should be pretty decent yield. I wonder if I make it all the way in without being full and needing to unload. That would be hilarious. Get to one end unload, get to another end unload. Just back and forth. I think I'm going to have to because there's no way I can make it all the way. At... No. Yeah, I really think it's going to be get down here one time, unload in this trailer. Go another time, unload in the other trailer. Wow. Maybe I should have bought one of those New Holland harvesters that holds like 21,000 or something. This is crazy. One strip here and I am going to be almost full. I'm going to be at 13,000 easy. 13,5 maybe? Wow. Alright, so like I said, we are going to dump off into here, turn around, and go do it again. So that's the plan, everybody. Um, I will see you all when we get a little bit more into this. Well, y'all, we've been plugging away at this field. We've got a little bit of a situation now, though. Um, and, I mean, it's not a bad one. But I've filled up this auger wagon. I'm going to fill it up. So we can see that we have about 85,000 liters in there now, 86, 87, 88,097. So we are completely full. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off this harvester. I'm going to pull the arm back in. And we are going to take this stagger down, and we are going to throw all of this into the big wagon, or the big trailer that we have our big uh, you know one million liter um, trailer so we've made some pretty good progress here we got the worker still over there um, he's making some really really nice clean rows for us that we are gonna be able to do something with that straw hopefully I had a, uh, a comment like I said from uh, one of the people that was watching the previous uh, videos and they said hey what about this and I was like you know what that might actually work I heard that there was maybe some something that you could do um, but I wasn't exactly sure and then they mentioned it so I'm like all right it's perfect but I'm not gonna tell you exactly who said it yet till we get over there and we do it um, I, I feel like it's gonna work um, it, it makes sense that it's gonna work but we're still gonna wait to uh, thank them for suggesting it, suggesting it, uh, just in a few minutes. We're gonna let this worker over here probably get done and finishing up these rows, because I want them really nice and straight. Um, we're gonna bring this over here, take our truck around to the other side, pick up all that over there, and then we will uh, go over and uh, empty our uh, harvester that we've got going into this trailer too. And then we'll be good to go. We're going to dump all 88,097 liters into the... <laughs> I did not mean to do that at all. Oh, man. All right, here we go. This is going to fill this thing up a little bit. I mean, I know it's a 500,000 liter capacity on that one side, but this is going to fill that up pretty good. So y'all, it is Saturday afternoon. I typically record my stuff a little bit early. Um, you're probably not gonna see... You know what, I'll probably release this 
tomorrow morning. Yep, I'm going to release this video tomorrow morning. One last chance. Stop in at 12 o'clock. That's when our live stream is going to start. Um, we're going to do a fun, fun day of stuff. Um, it's going to be at least two hours long. If I can stretch that a little bit farther than that, I will. But I'm planning on at least two hours. Um, I know tomorrow is a big day for another thing, sports-wise. So if you can make it in for a little bit, I'd greatly appreciate it. If not, you can always check this video out later. Um, this thing's taking a little bit. But I just want to uh, say thank you again, everybody. We're really, really close to 1,100 subscribers now. So we may not even be able to get the 1,000 subscriber uh, live stream in without being at 1,100. I mean, it would be awesome to have that extra kick right there. Um, we're only nine away, so it is definitely possible. We still have about 20 hours until the stream starts. So if you guys know anybody else, share the video, share the stream. Um, kind of a, I would love to be able to be at 1100 by the end of the stream. That would be phenomenal. Um, we've got a new map that we're going to be uh, doing some stuff on. It's going to be uh, quite a lot of fun. Um, it. Uh, I've done a map tour on it, and we are going to go ahead and do some stuff on it. Um, I know I originally said we were going to do maybe Stone Valley, but I don't think that is going to pan out. I was doing some work on it, and I wanted it to be the most up-to-date. And then when I went back into ModHub, I saw there was an update. I tried to stay away from it, and accidentally updated so I don't even know if what I've got is uh, going to work out right or not. So I think we're going to stay away from that. We'll come back to it a little bit later um, and do something over there. But I think we're probably going to do a little bit of stuff here on a Eureka and the other map that I have selected. Um, and we might even have another surprise map that is really, really interesting and cool to me. Um, but we're going to have to wait and see how the stream goes. If the stream's going really, really good, uh, well, either way, we'll just see see what you guys have to say. Um, so if you're able to stop in, that would be awesome. Thank you again. But we are going to go ahead and empty this harvester right here into the truck. And then we're going to go over and wait a little bit, let this guy finish off, and then we will uh, dump up into there. And we probably ought to start thinking about what the next contract is. So the next contract looks like it's going to be Field 1. I really want to get that one harvested because we put all the fertilizer onto it. Um, field 5 needs fertilizer, though. Um, I don't know which one I want to do first. I don't want to sow anything because that is going to take a outrageous amount of time. Um, but we might. I mean, wheat and then soybeans. I might do those maybe off off camera uh, but I definitely want to get the farming done the sewing ones I need to do so I can start making some more fertilizer jobs so got a little bit of a not a pickle but just trying to figure out what we're gonna do alright so we are full up there so this guy over here looks like he's got maybe two more rows what do you guys think I might be able to get that in too. Depends how straight I went over on this side. Yeah, I might have to follow him from down on the other end, but he's definitely going to make it back down here. So we're going to go ahead and leave this. Now, where are we taking this to? We are actually taking this that direction. So I'm going to stay right here. We're going to turn this off. And I'm probably going to run back down and grab the other harvester and clean up anything that he isn't able to get because I was driving all crazy on that side. Um, so let me go do that. I'll meet you guys back down here at the end when we have everything and we're going to take it over and um, deliver it all. So I'll see you guys then. All right, everybody, here we are. We are finishing up the last little bit of this contract. Now, this is the My Harvester, the really big capacity with the slow header on it. I use the other one to uh, go a little bit faster, but not as much capacity obviously so we had to unload a little bit more often so we're gonna go and turn that off we're gonna come over here and empty all of this into our trailer really really quick now this is crazy 
we have almost 176,000 liters in here. That is a ton. So we're going to turn it off just for now. I know we're kind of hanging out there a little bit in the road, but we'll get that. It's going to be a pretty big yield. Really big yield. And the contract is going up to the feed supply company. And I see that up there is where it's going. But if I look here on barley, feed supply company, the cost the price is actually going down. I'm going to want to take this to the transport company at 1118. And that's not a bad price. It's about midpoint, maybe a little bit lower than where I wanted to be at. So we're going to go ahead and take it over there at transport company. We're going to make some money on this. It's going to be awesome. So we're at 84% on the contract. This is done now. So let's back this up just a little bit more. We're going to go ahead and take this header off also, because like I said, this is the slow one. So we're going to go ahead and just drop it right here. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and fold this bad boy up. We'll go get our other header here in a little bit. Um, but yeah, we'll leave this here. Go hop in this. I mean, that is crazy. 358,000 liters on this field, y'all. What is it going to take to get 500,000 liters of a harvest? Man, and I don't know if you guys can see, but our field is ready over there. And we are going to go ahead and start harvesting it. I, I want to because we need to get it done. We need to get on to something else on our crops. Um, with doing precision farming, I'm really, really intrigued to know what in canola is going to come in at on our farm. Um, our fields that we've predetermined, the different crop types, everything like that. Did we fertilize it enough? Are we good? I feel like we did, um, but that's going to be a little bit more time until we get there. Um, we're taking this up here to the feed supply company, like I said. I'm going to drop this all off. Um, fortunately, the sell point is down here and not up there but oh, let me get over here because it's noisy there all right so right here we are going to go ahead and start going now i need to drop you know 360 so i need about 230 is what i need to drop in here so that's going to leave me what like I don't know, 80 90 somewhere in there so we're going to stop at about 100 and see, well, 125, see where we're at on the contract. I couldn't get much closer. 68%. All right, so we're going to get down to 100 now. Ooh, I could have got closer there. So we're really, really close. All right. There we go. So right at about 100 is what we had left. So y'all, we made all of that, and now we've got all of this left. Now, we are going to take this back over by our farm we've got a little bit of barley in the um hop or the uh silo right now so what we're gonna do is we are actually gonna go ahead and grab that add it to this because i don't have a need for barley right now and then we're gonna take it down to the transport company but on the way back i'm gonna stop the truck off and we're gonna try and collect some of this straw and like I said, this was uh, idea was presented to me by a, uh, a viewer. I did not come up with this idea. Not that it's a bad idea. I just don't want to take credit for it because they, they're the ones that uh, mentioned it to me. So we're going to go park over here on the other side of this. Actually, we'll park right over here on this side. We're good. Man, that'd be a nice field to harvest too. A little bitty small one. So let's see if I can find who it was really, really quickly. So William Emerson. William Emerson is the one that gave me this idea. And what we've got is the loading wagon, the really awesome uh, shooter maker, right? And this is the really, really wide, wide one, okay? And the idea here is that I'm going to be able to drive on my property and collect that straw that's on that field. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and drop it down and turn it on. And we're just going to go. 
Now, I'm wondering how far out here I can get before it's going to tell me, like, yell at me and say no. We're going to try it right here. And if it's not, oh, there we go. So it's going to let me do it, and I'm on the road right here. All right, so let's see how far we can get. Now, it's uh, pretty laggy right now. Well, no, it's not. I'm just driving really slow. Oh, because it's seven miles an hour. That's why. So, I am on the road. I don't own this property right now. Maybe it's communal. You know, maybe. But we might make another pass at this and see if we can get over closer to that field. Since I'm doing the contract on it, maybe that'll let me do it. But this is awesome. This is just free money right here. I mean, look, we're already at 150,000 liters of straw. So if you guys are playing on this map and you want to get some straw off the contracts, grab this thing. Lease it, even if you don't own it, to pick it up. This is awesome. So there we go. All right, right there. It just told me I don't. Now, is it because I don't own it, like own it, own it, or is it because I went on their property? Okay. So right there. So what I need to do now, because I still want to get that, I feel like, is I'm going to turn right here, maybe. Yeah, there we go. See, I'm on my property now. And we're going to get all this little bit of extra right there that I can. All right. Now, I also know, don't I own some of this property around over here to the other side? Let's come around over to this. We're going to come down here. Do I own that? I don't own that. How much is that, though? Huh. If I did that, then I could pick up even more straw. Let's go ahead and buy that. Because I don't think I can buy the shop area. No, I can't. But I want to go ahead and buy this really, really quickly. So here we go. We're going to buy it, right? Is it letting me buy it? It's not letting me buy it, y'all. Why is it not letting me buy it? try this again there we go all right perfect so now what we're gonna do we're just gonna keep driving straight I'm gonna miss a little bit and it's fine but we're gonna come over here I don't have access to this land it's fine but I do do I right here why do I not here hold on do I need to be over a little bit farther all right let's get over in the grass maybe I want to get as much of this as we can. I mean, we're at half a trailer right now. That is awesome. Really, really cool. All right, are we grabbing more yet? There we go. A little bit. Perfect. So how much more are we going to get? Are we going to get enough more to be able to pay for that piece of property? All right, 324 and change. Wow. That is pretty cool. This tractor's having a little bit of a hard time pulling it, though. There we go. Now we're up to speed. So, I also want to let you guys know, I did have somebody come out, and they modified the silo for me. So, we're going to be able to put this straight in the silo. So, I'm going to have the um, other... Uh, straw barn over there hayloft i'm gonna have it taken out and we're just gonna put everything into here because i would rather have that space for something else that i want to do in a little bit so like i said we're gonna dump this in here for right now um might have some other plans for it but i just wanted to pick it up for sure so the next thing we need to do is go ahead and complete the contract on that field over there because now we are done with it we're not going to pick anything else up i'm not going to buy any more land off of it so let's go back over here complete the contract right there complete it we're gonna collect we lost a little bit we're still getting 44,000 for it I mean that had enough to pay for the property we just bought fertilizing field four harvesting field three is that one that we fertilized it is okay so field one is no longer on here. It's cultivating now. So we lost the chance to do that. So we can 
Harvest three, Harvest seven. They're not big, or we can go straight into fertilizing. I think I want to do the fertilizing contract. I think that'll be quick, and then hopefully we can come back and grab three. So let's grab that. We're going to accept the contract on it. Boom. There we go. Let's go park this bad boy. We'll get that sprayer over there and uh, get to town. But I will meet you guys over there. All right. So I went ahead and moved a few things around. And look at this, y'all. Our grass is doing really, really well over here. We also have our sunflowers that are doing really, really well. And part of our soybeans are ready to be harvested, but not the whole thing yet. So we might get to that later on today. Just depends. But if you guys remember our barley, the reason I wanted to come back over here is because we've got about 68,000 liters of barley in here, I believe. Um, and that was from the original fields whenever we started the map. So we're going to add that to this 97,000, right? And, oh, 62, so almost 63. So we're going to have like 160,000 liters. And the price right now is still sitting a little bit above 1,100. So let's check it one more time. And yeah, 1118. So I want to get down there to transport company, get all this unloaded. That's going to be a very, very good payday. Um, I wish I had some corn right now. It's 1564. That is a crazy price on corn. Um, but we don't have any. So it's something that we need to really think about doing. I mean, if I'm going to do a... Oh, look how close we are to 160, yo. If I'm going to do a, 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 a chaff harvest right i'm gonna have to get some corn going so i think i'm gonna use one of the bigger fields for that um nine million liters is a lot i did have another person comment that they did like 31 million liters of chaff and i'm like no no that is insane that's like mr Sealy p level of <laughs> chaff harvest that he did on stone valley i don't even want to know how much time he honestly put into that because I've done a big one before uh, not chaff but we did the um, 600 plus acres of um, what was it it was uh, oats is what it was yeah 600 plus acres of oats on Stone Valley I was running six harvesters that took a insane amount of time now let's make sure we're going to the right spot here really quick again I want to be at the transport company and the transport company is down here yep so it's got a high demand but it's only for corn it's not for everything so we are gonna put this in here see how much we get paid we're sitting at 281 right now that's really good we did lease a little bit of equipment instead of buying it so I mean it is kind of what it is right now um, let's see what all did we lease so if we go to our garage and lease equipment Oh, we leased this thing and pallet forks for that and this big guy. So I really like this one, but I'm thinking I'm going to go a different direction. I mean, it's not bad. It's 646, right, on the horsepower. But there's another one that I want to try. We made 178,000. Y'all, we are sitting at 459,000 right now. We could just about buy a tractor. Um, but what I want to do, I want to go ahead and get through our canola harvest for sure. Um, we may pick up like field number seven or something and just let a worker over there eat on it. Um, but I definitely want to go ahead and get started on ours um, and just do that other one. I mean, well, we are doing the contracts. Maybe we'll do a sewing contract while I'm doing some harvest stuff. Maybe that's how we'll make extra money right now. But either way, I'll let you guys... Um, or I'll meet you guys over there when we are starting to collect the canola. Well, everybody, we are over here at the canola getting ready to uh, harvest it, but it's lunchtime. And I've got you guys, you know, you've been on over here for a while watching this video. I'm going to go ahead and end this one for today. Um, we're going to start right here with this harvester on this canola on the next video. That's what we're going to do. I'm trying to keep these videos, you know, shorter for you guys so that I'm not keeping you around for an hour. I kind of get busy talking and don't realize where I'm at. So I went in to start looking at how long and realized that I was up there above a half hour. So 
like I said, that's going to be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. If you did, go ahead and give me a like if you would. If you want to be kept up to date on all of my Let's Play series or the Precision Farming or Map Tours, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell while you're over there. Don't forget about the live stream. Have a great day, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53, signing off.